What's going on guys? It's OmniArch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the easiest ways by far to get a ton of headshots on pretty much any single gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm going to be telling you guys the best game modes, equipment, attachments, kill streaks, specialists, and tactics that you can be using to be getting the most amount of headshots every single game. I'm talking at least 10 or more headshots every game that you play. It's super, super straightforward. It's super easy to do. And with a little bit of practice, I'm sure you guys can be getting headshot kills left and right every single game you jump into. Real quick before I jump into it, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on my last video. That video got over 5,000 views in less than 24 hours. That is not usual for my content. And if it weren't for you guys liking the video, commenting down below, subscribing to my channel, all that good stuff, YouTube would not have pushed it into the algorithm and shown it to the world. So thank you guys so much for that i really really appreciate you i cannot thank you enough with that being said let's just jump right into the content of the video now the first thing i want to talk about is actually the most basic thing a ton of you guys already know this but it's so obvious that i'm sure ton a ton of you don't actually know right or maybe you you know but you're not thinking about it consciously and you're not doing it in game and that is actually aiming for the head right every time you get into a gunfight a lot of times you kind of panic if you're running on a corner and you panic and you shoot them or if you're following somebody and they don't know you're there you're like oh my god they don't see me let me get this kill really quick in instances like those you're thinking about getting kills and not headshots and what i want you guys to do is actually change the way that you're playing the game and think about getting headshots as opposed to kills so you in your mind you want to prioritize getting the headshot over getting the kill a lot of times i'll lose a gunfight if i'm not going to get the headshot and you know a lot of times I still get the kill anyway because headshots have multiplier damage uh, so a lot of times you still get the kill but when I'm doing this if I'm strictly going for headshots I care more about the headshots than the kills and the cool thing is that when you start to do this and you start to practice uh, they kind of come together anyway so it's not like you're gonna notice a huge drop in KD or anything like that you know you might at the beginning but once you decide that hey I'm gonna start to go for headshots actually start shooting for the head start shooting at the enemy player's head you will probably start to lose some more gunfights that's just natural because you're aiming at a smaller part of their body but over time as you get better you're gonna start to do this instinctually you know when you start chasing that guy you're gonna kill him by shooting him in the head and risk getting turned on in you know one in ten chances that guy you know you you get a couple hits uh you get a couple of hit markers and then you miss a few shots he turns on you and kills you that might happen uh but as you get better you're gonna start to get the headshots no problem so the first thing is change your tactics don't think about kills think about headshots aim for the head aim for the upper body uh, and try to use the recoil to your advantage and try and just get headshots not so much kills just headshots and remember headshots only count if the bullet that kills the enemy is to their head so you can actually start shooting them at the body and then move up to their head during the gunfight uh, but that I find is a little bit harder for me um, but if you guys want to you know kind of do that see if that gets you a little bit more consistent with your kill to headshot ratio you can go ahead and give that a try that's something that's not really something you could do in previous Call of Duties because you had 100 health now that enemies have 150 health they're gonna be taking one or two extra bullets so you could start the kills at their body move up to the head get the final bullets on the headshot and still get uh, you know a consistent amount of kills with that being said let's move on to the game mode I've been saying this for years the best game mode by far in my opinion for getting headshots is free-for-all and the reason for that is because of the number of one-on-one -on -one engagements that you're getting into like I said earlier if you're getting into an engagement and you are thinking I want to get headshots you are gonna be at a disadvantage in that gunfight because the person that's shooting you they don't care they're just trying to get as many bullets on your body as possible whereas you are risking missing shots just to get the headshot now imagine you go up against two people or three people or you go against the people who are head glitching an objective they are not going to be as forgiving or as caught off guard as if you are in a free-for-all so in free-for-all the reason that again that I play free-for-all for headshots is because you're controlling the one-on-one -on -one engagements uh, and those are the times that you're most likely to get headshots because you can control that engagement more than you can in an objective game mode or in, an, in a game mode where you 
risk running across uh, a couple of enemies all at once and also if you run into the enemy spawn on tdm and you get into one on one engagement and as you're going for the headshot somebody spawns behind you because now you're an enemy spawns it's just it's not a good idea to play anything other than than free for all um obviously if you're playing with a party or if you're playing with friends you can use the rest of the tactics on this list to continue to get headshots um, but if you're playing by yourself i highly recommend playing free for all now let's talk about attachments now one of the things about attachments in black ops 4 is that not every gun of every class type has the same attachments right so some assault rifles have silencers and some of them don't some assault rifles have high caliber other assault rifles don't so i'm going to be giving you a couple of different attachments that you can use to improve the amount of headshots that you're getting uh of course the number one is uh the high caliber attachment now some guns have high caliber one and two really you only need high caliber one because high caliber two gives you bonus damage to the upper chest and up uh and really Really, that's good for gunfights but that's not really good for getting headshots you only care about the headshot multiplier uh, so you know you don't really have to waste two attachments on high caliber two uh, you can if you want of course but like I said at least high caliber one if you have a gun that has it another good one is grip and I would use if, if you have a gun that has high caliber and grip available use both because you want to have the most accurate shots as possible if you're aiming for their head it's a smaller target it's a moving target um, you know you want to be able to hit as many bullets you want as many of your bullets going where you're pointing them as possible you don't want to suffer from recoil like with the spitfire or something uh, you really want to have a laser beam and you know with the grip that's really gonna help you when you're aiming down sights aiming directly at their head and making sure that that final bullet is hitting them where you want it to and the final attachment is actually the laser sight now of course if you're running an assault rifle with grip and high caliber you don't really need the laser sight to get headshots um, but for the guns that don't really have those attachments attachments or if you have a different play style I would say use the laser sight because this actually tightens up your hip fire recoil uh, and for some of those instances where you are caught off guard uh, your hip fire will be more accurate so if you aim it towards their head you're more likely to get that headshot this is something that's really good for the gun for like guns like the Spitfire or just submachine guns in general where you're gonna be in very close range engagements and you might not have the time or the range to actually aim down sights so in instances like that it's good to have a tighter hip fire so that way your hip fire can kind of aim towards their head aim up at their head uh, and you're more likely to get a headshot with a hip fire that way than you are just spraying from the hip regardless with the attachments out of the way let's talk about your equipment and your perks now the only requirements for this one in my opinion are dead silence and acoustic sensor now I know a lot of you guys like stim shots but if you're just going for headshots you're going to want acoustic sensor with dead silence now another part of this puzzle is actually a headset uh, you really can't hear footsteps in this game it's very difficult um, even with acoustic sensor and dead silence you still really need a headset in order in order to hear where your enemies are coming from and just to hear footsteps at all uh, so definitely make sure you put the audio in your ears whether it's you know a a gaming headset like a turtle beach or an astro 840s or whatever or if it's just a regular pair of earbuds that you have that you can plug into your ps4 controller it's better to have the audio in your ears directly than it is coming from a television that's maybe a couple feet away or that has just you know a crummy you know sound system built into the television or whatever the case is put the audio in your ears with dead silence and acoustic sensor now the reason for this is to get the jump on people right if you're playing free-for-all and you can't hear your own footsteps the only footsteps you can hear are those of your enemies so if you're you know in a room or something and you hear footsteps outside you know it's an enemy so you can be prepared for that gunfight before they even come around the corner and that's super important because you're going to want to be aiming down sights as much as possible uh, you want to be aiming for the head as often as you can that makes sense obviously you're going for a headshot you want to aim at the head um, so with dead silence and acoustic sensor you're gonna have the best odds of hearing and knowing when your enemy is coming and that's why I highly recommend it over something like stim shot real quick I want to talk about kill streaks uh, it's pretty clear to me that there's only two kill streaks that I would recommend running the first being UAV obviously because you want to be able to see where your enemies are coming from the same reason that you use UAV is the reason that you use dead silence with acoustic sensor and that is to get the jump on people so again you want to know where they're coming from you want to have that information so that way you're ready for the gunfight you're ready to shoot for the head um, so use UAV the second is counter UAV because why not you know why not have the counter UAV on um, it'll get you some uh, assist points if you're playing with friends and stuff like that 
plus it removes that information from the enemy so you go into the gunfight knowing that they're coming with your uav and they don't know that you're there because they have a counter uav affecting their vision and the final thing i want to talk about is the specialists that help you out the most with this now of course you can use any specialist that you want but there's a couple of them that have abilities that make getting headshots way easier the first is recon and that's for the vision pulse obviously uh, you can also place the uh, motion sensor i don't remember what it's called in this game um but yeah you can check and see where enemies are coming from sensor dart my bad sensor dart yeah sensor dart obviously is like a portable uav that's gonna tell you where enemies are coming from putting in a in a high traffic area where people are less likely to destroy it that's always a good option for free for all but really you're doing this for the vision pulse because again having vision pulse tell you exactly where the enemy is coming from you can be aiming at their head before they even come around the corner because you can see exactly what their body silhouette looks like on the other side of a wall and that's huge for getting headshots you could start pre-firing their head before they even come around the corner it's very very crucial um, if you're gonna pick any specialist and you don't care pick the one with vision pulse pick recon because it's gonna really really help you the second one is actually torque and the reason for this is because you can play hyper defensively with torque uh, and that's going to give you the jump on people and give you the opportunity to prepare for the headshots that you're looking to get so the reason for this is because the razor wire actually slows down enemies really 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 bad i'm sure you guys have run into a razor wire in this game before it basically stops you in your tracks and you move at like 10% speed when you're trying to back out so if you are in a room and you place a razor wire and somebody runs into it they're pretty much just standing still waiting to get shot and of course they're gonna be firing back at you but they're mostly gonna be concerned with getting unstuck from the razor wire uh, and in that instance you're gonna want to just shoot right at their head again they're barely moving when they're stuck to the razor wire now you only have a second or two to actually realize they're trapped and turn around and get them um, but it's still better than nothing it's still a really really useful thing thing to have plus torque also has the barricade which the uh microwave ability of the barricade slows enemy movement as well plus it gives you a head glitch to give you some extra cover while you're aiming for their head again like i said earlier in the video you're probably going to be missing a couple more shots than your enemy so having that barricade protecting you is actually going to really really help you a lot you can also choose to use profit which with the seeker ability of the profit you can actually throw down those little electric drones and when they go and electrocute the enemy they're pretty much stuck there for a second or two just like with the razor wire um and in those instances that's when you're going to just shoot right at their head uh when they're when they're trapped in the electrical charge you're going to shoot at their head and you're going to be all good that's an easy way to get your enemy to stand still and get the headshot and finally i want to mention ajax because ajax has the nine bang grenade uh, and of course nine bang is going to flash them stun them all sorts of good stuff like that um it's really debilitating it's very difficult so you can't even like lay down when you get nine banged in this game which is hyper annoying i hate it so much um but if you're going for headshots toss that nine bang in a room that you know that they're in run around the corner they can't really do anything you shoot at their head easy headshot easy peasy just basically spoon fed to you it's awesome um, but again I would highly recommend recon just for the vision pulse but if you prefer one of these other ones or if you're playing you know with your friends and they've already picked recon you can pick something else pick something from this list because it's gonna give you better odds at getting those headshots from enemies who really can't do anything about you shooting at them anyway and that's about it guys this video was actually a lot longer than I thought it would be because I thought I only had a couple of tips but I kind of went through pretty much everything and create a class and uh, these are gonna give you the best classes the best odds at getting headshots with every single gun um, I'm getting 50 or more headshots with guns and I'm not even trying to um, like before I even decided oh let me get headshots for these camos I had already gotten 50 60 70 headshots with some of these guns without even trying because I've been trained to do this I literally did this for World War 2 Black Ops 3 I I, I got uh, Dark Matter and Black Ops 3 really really early in the game um, because I've just I've always wanted to go for headshots so I'm, I'm my play style naturally is to aim at the head because I've done it for years in a row now um, so use Using these tips really helps you you're gonna be getting like I said 10 or more headshots every game if you're following every single tip and you practice for a couple of games so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video and comment down below your favorite piece of equipment or favorite tip in order to get more headshots and this is a really long video so if you guys made it all the way to the end i want you to comment down below with a gun emoji whether you're on ios you're gonna have the water gun emoji any other cell phone use just a regular handgun emoji so i know that you guys made it all the way to the end of the video talking about headshots uh and 
I will really, really appreciate all those comments. Finally, subscribe to my channel for more Black Ops 4 tips, tricks, news, commentaries, everything like that. Smack that bell button, boy. And uh, this has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.